Oh my goodness, I just got up and look what has um, greeted me. <laughs> this is starting to get ridiculous. Anyway, it was my dad's birthday yesterday, but I'm going to see him today, so I'm going to take his bucket of presents. I'm also going to be going down the pub and playing some music with him later as well. I've got a relative visiting, but she's staying with my dad at the moment. She's not a blood relative, but she's a relative by marriage. It's going to be really nice for me to see her. Um, today I've just I've got a few bits and bobs to do at home but after the music session I'm actually going to go back to my boyfriend's house and then in the morning I'm going to do a little bit of work at his company before heading off to my first Portuguese class. Oh it's not till the evening though but anyway yes yeah, so I'm going to spend tomorrow at my boyfriend's. I might make this into a two-day vlog I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet it depends how much happens really that is vlog worthy because I can see myself spending a lot of it at my desk again you know you know how it is. Anyway, I am going to make coffee. I'm going to do a bit of Greek learning and then I'm going to get on with a few administerial things. It's half past two now. I've been being very boring and not filming myself being very boring. I'm trying to get ahead of myself, you see, because of going away later during this week. So I need to just get things tied up before I go. So that's why I'm just ploughing through this Sunday. I mean, I quite often plough through Sunday anyway, but I am today definitely doing that. What else have I been doing? Paying the band. I've been updating my own business accounts. So I normally do that on a Monday. That's my weekly routine but tomorrow I'm going to be working for Ivy's company because I suggested why well, I don't get that done early in the week as well there's probably not a lot to do because it's not that long since I actually went but there's I think there's at least one hour's worth of work if not more so let's just get that done I'm not rehearsing this week with the band I said to my boyfriend I said it's a little bit awkward because it's right the day before the holiday and there's a few things I need to tie up locally regarding my prescription and he said to be honest we need to rehearse without you because you're not doing that Halloween gig so I'm out of that one so yeah that gives me an evening off that I thought I wasn't gonna get off anyway I've just put wash load on because obviously I want to get everything dried so I can pack it I'm reheating what's left of my stew from yesterday now Isabel always serves herself with a spoon with holes in so it's what's left is really 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 liquidy. Maybe I'll leave the lid off, see if I can evaporate it a bit. This is when I wish I had some instant mash and I always forget to buy it. Right, instant mash, let's put it on the shopping list. Instant, whoa, one-handed. She did the mash. She did the instant mash. I've been doing the dishwasher, you know the usual stuff. I would like to say I put all the clean washing, folded it up and put away, but no, I've dumped it on my bed. I've got a couple of complications cropped up. Izzy applied, well, me and Izzy applied for her EMA at the start of the summer, I think, you know, when we were supposed to at the appropriate time. And they've taken until now to tell her that there was a signature missing on the form. I'm sure I signed everything. I think maybe Izzy didn't. I don't know. But anyway, we've got to redo the whole thing. And she's had no EMA at all since the start of term. So there we are. How annoying. Why didn't they just say that when they processed it why why leave it till uh, I don't know anyway so there's that and the other complication is that it's Izzy's injection day she has one a fortnight and it didn't occur to her to tell me that she was working today until late last night and I was kind of tired and I didn't really twig but, oh yeah you've got to get that injection out of the fridge to reach room temperature for one hour prior to giving her a jab before she goes to work so of course I remembered too late. I remembered 50 minutes before she had to leave and I thought, I, I don't want to jab her in the leg and then she shoots out the door. And just, she's never had any kind of reaction, but you know, I just want to be around for a bit. <laughs> I'm sure it would be fine, just in case, you know. So anyway, she hasn't had it, but I'm going to my dad's later and so is Izzy. So we're going to be there at the same time. So I've got to pack that and take it and somehow store it about my person until I get home the next day and then I can put it in the sharps bin. So <laughs> great. But anyway, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is under control. Oh, that's still got some mushrooms on it from yesterday. Everything is under control. How random, I've just found another cheese sandwich in my freezer. I thought, I know, I'll have toast with it and I'll put the juice. Hmm, I wonder if I just put that whole thing in the freezer. There's a lot of mm, moisture come out of it. I'll give it a scrape and I'll put it in for a bit, see what happens. Did I say freezer? I meant toaster. Risking it, putting cheese in the toaster. I don't know what's going on with that dishwasher today. Every single thing I've taken out of it to use has been dirty, so I'm putting it in there and soaking it. I've kept an eye on that and whipped it out before the cheese started to melt. Um, I think that's probably, I'll give it a check and see if it's still frozen in the middle. Yeah, still cold. I'm gonna microwave it. That's gotta be done by now. Oh. 
it's quite a while later now I'm coming to pack again ready to go to IB so I'm starting to gather a few bits up for that the exciting Sunday has really continued here I've spent a lot of time deleting raw footage off my MacBook and also transferring files over to different backups <laughs> so I can clear some space off it ready for Greece because I will be amassing quite a bit of footage while I'm out there and want to store it on there I've also got my holiday documents in there because I'm going to need to check in online from 48 hours prior to departure via an app a TUI app and I'm going to need my booking reference and stuff like that for that so yeah I'm going to be doing that before I get back home again I ran the dishwasher for a second time I think what had happened was a utensil had slipped down and was obstructing the rotary thingy so oh look that's tipped up the wrong way uh, hopefully it's clean now oh yeah it's because even the cups were dirty still under the bottom so yeah I think that's I don't think it's broken that's a relief because I love my dishwasher <laughs> dad's birthday bucket is not looking quite as exciting but it is protected from the rain and I just realized something I'm actually going to arrive at his place a little while like I don't know 10 or 15 minutes after the vlog has gone live and he's gonna see the presents being bought and wrapped if he watches it so I've had to whatsapp message him now saying don't watch the vlog until after you've opened your presents I didn't quite time that right did I oh dear anyway right last trip to the loo shoes on and I'm off out of the door it is a beautiful evening Yeah, it's seven o'clock. Talking clock over there. That's my dad. Yeah, it's seven o'clock. We've had a lovely meal together, haven't we? We have. Oh, auntie's yeah. in the kitchen. She's doing some washing up. So I'm sneakily vlogging. We've had a nice meal. There's the table with the remnants. Izzy's actually doing her own laundry, I think, or filling in. No, she's doing the AMA form at the moment. We've done the jab. That's all done and dusted. Here's the birthday boy. You didn't mind your load of rubbish, did you? Yeah, I had a very nice obze da in the form of a bucket the cabbage you can zoom on. Oh yes, they've all oh, yeah. seen the bucket. <laughs> and so will you when you watch the vlog. You're allowed to watch it now. <laughs> well I'll maybe now, tomorrow. Yes, the contents I shall eat my way through in the coming days with great pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Dad says there's a sock update, that sock machine thingy device. Oh, he's, yeah, I'm only joking. He says he can use it very proficiently <laughs> now since that first attempt. It's a pan on the pan. This is future editing me. I did not do a proper link between that section and the next section, but we traveled to a pub and we played music with my dad and I took a couple of little clips of some of the musicians playing with their permission. And then you'll see what happens after that. <laughs> but here's the pub bit. <laughs> On the Friday morning, the painter made a start with undercoat and overcoat. He painted every part. He finished it by tea time, but I found when he had gone that he painted the gas tap, and I couldn't turn it on. But it all makes work for the work of man to do. When we went to bed, hating Gloram now. When we went to bed, we hear God. <laughs> we are back at Ibis. It's really late. It's just gone midnight. Kettles just boiled. We're going to have a cup of tea and go to bed, basically. <laughs> I am working here in the morning at 10 o'clock, so that's coming up tomorrow. I obviously had a big gap in today's video because I hadn't seen my aunt for so, so long, not since before the pandemic, so it was really nice to see her. I just didn't want to be intrusive with the camera. Anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. Do give it a like if you liked it. Subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!